Alright, so last time I made a video here on how to uh, write a XML file here, write a serialized object to an XML file, and now we need to probably do something with it. We, maybe we want to read it back, so let's go ahead and work with that. So um, again, this is just kind of working in a little MVC project here I have, but your results will be the exact same uh, even if you're doing just like a council output or anything. So. Uh, we have our student class here, um, which has a ID and a name uh, field or attributes, if you will. And the class is declared serializable, so each field can be serialized when writing or reading. Uh, this is not relevant, uh, so I'm going to close this other uh, method out here. And we have a new method called result, just to display our results. I do have a view down here called result and it's going to display our information. It's going to display the ID <coughs> and the name. And we're just only in this video, we're just only going to return one. Um, I'll do like a collection in a different one so we can we just get the basics here. So uh, just like last time, we need to do a couple things. First, we need to uh, get the path of the file. And again, I can call the server, Let's say map path content and files that's going to be where the path is and then I need to have a serialized I need to have a serialized reader if I XML serializer serial equals new XML serializer it's going to want the type and in this case we are we know that it's going to be a of type student, so it's my namespace is models and student. So you just simply, you uh, you might not have to pass this namespace here, but you just pass your class here and it tells it the type. And then finally, we need a uh, writer or reader, so we need a stream reader here to read the file. I'm going to call this reader. And so now it wants the path, and the path also includes the file name. In this case, uh, we have the path here, we got it, and we just happen to know, close this out, we just happen to know that here we have the test, the name test, and it's of type XML. So we do path plus, right, two forward slashes test on XML. And that's the full path of the uh, file. And so, now all we have to do is say serial and dot deserialize because we're deserializing object, right? Last time we serialized it and we wrote it out. In this case, we are going to deserialize and it's just going to want the reader, right? That's all it's going to want. And if we look at this method here, what does this return? It's returning an object there, right? And so uh, we can capture that object. We know it's going to be a singleton because that's all that's in there. If I open this up, right? If I open my XML uh, document, we only have one object here, right? It's just student. So uh, I need to close that because if it's open, uh, I might get an error. And so now we can say models that student and I'm just going to call it student lowercase is equal to this and so now it's throwing an error and it's throwing an error because it's returning an object and so we need to cast it so if we cast it as a student see now it goes away now if you return an object from the deserializer or f that or in that file if if this is not of type student if it was something else it would throw a class cast exception and we would not be able to use it. So you have to know what you're getting back, essentially. And so, uh, finally, with that, we are going to return our student to our view here. And then I also need to close, for security reasons, I just need to close the reader and that's all there's going to be to it. So I'm going to build my project. And now let's go ahead and I'm going to start without debugging here. Uh, 
And I have some results in there, but I'll, you know, I'll rewrite it here. So we have a person named Steve in there. Now let's go see the results of that. And this is cool. So now we have the student ID is equal to zero. Um, that's just by default. But the name here is Steve, which is what we just did. So let's go back and change that. And we can say Kyle. The student has been created. And oh, I bet it's uh, I bet it's cached. All right, let's go back here. See, there we go. So if you get that issue, uh, it cached your results page. So you can just go back and change that. So and that's all there is to it. That's a really quick, really basic video of uh, reading a serializable object. So thank you for watching.